Hello and welcome to the second episode of the DJ Podcast. This is actually the first real episode that we're going to be going in depth into how to submit a podcast to the iTunes Store. A lot of famous DJs and producers have their own podcast and they submit it to the iTunes Store so that way people can, who use iTunes can go to the iTunes Store, find the podcast, and subscribe. And today I'm going to show you the steps necessary to get your podcast onto the iTunes store. So there's three essentials that we're going to need here. The first is audio files. These are going to be your actual episodes of your podcast. We're also going to need cover art, which is going to be the image that's displayed on the iTunes store. And we're going to need an XML file that we're going to submit to iTunes that will tell iTunes where the files are and when new episodes are put online. So the audio files can either be encoded as MP3s or M4As, and it's really best to encode them at either 128 or 192 kilobits per second. It's also important to decide on a naming scheme, such as the name of your podcast, a dash, and then the episode number. iTunes suggests using a 300 by 300 pixel image. Alright, so now we're going to look at the actual XML file that iTunes is going to look at and say, oh, this is all the information that I will need to know about the podcast. Now, I have two files. One of them is example-empty.xml and the other is example.xml. And I've gone ahead and made these two files. The empty file is basically a bare bones version of the example. And what you can do is look at the example to see how everything is supposed to look when it's finished. Then you can go and work with me as I go through this empty file and fill in all the information. That way you can just take the XML file, save it to your hard drive, and then work on the empty one and just fill in, you know, your name and whatnot. So the first thing we have is iTunes name, and that's under the owner. And this says, who owns this podcast? And so my name is Peter Morgan. And my email is contact at the djpodcast.com and once again this just tells iTunes who owns this podcast next we're gonna have category and I already filled in music because if you're gonna have a mix podcast you're most likely gonna want it to be in the music category and also we have the author which is very much like the owner but let's say you want to go for yeah, you, know, you want to put your DJ alias or whatnot, you can put that in. So I'm going to say that the owner is the DJ podcast. And here we have iTunes explicit. Chances are it's not going to be explicit because I don't know of any electronic music songs that have, you know, explicit lyrics, but some might. And this can either be yes, which would mean that it is explicit, and it'll get a little explicit icon. No, which means it's not explicit. And if you're sure that it's clean, you can put clean in and then it'll get a little clean icon. But for right now we're just going to leave that as no. And then you have the image and in between these little two quotations here you're going to want to put in the address to the image you want to show on the podcast page. So yeah, right. Now we're going to be entering in more information like we have the image URL. We're going to put in more information about the podcast, what the podcast is going to look like on the iTunes store. So the title is just going to be the DJ podcast. And this would be the title of your podcast. For the description, you can put, you know, a mix of the newest progressive in trance or the newest electro house and techno. For this, we're going to put a podcast for aspiring DJs. Tips, tricks, and how to's. You can put whatever description you like. Then we have a link to our main website. So that can be, you know, your MySpace page or your personal website. And that's just going to be the DJpodcast.com. Language, if it's English, you know, well, you can leave it like that. And then copyright. So Right now I just have you know, copyright 2009 and if you want you can either put, you know, the DJ podcast or whatever your name is right after there. It all works. Now that we've added in that information about the podcast, we're going to 
put in information that's actually related to our individual episode, our individual item, as it were. So since this is our um, first, you can see that we only have one item. But if you were to add a second item, you could just highlight this and copy and paste it so that you have a second item. But we're not going to because we only have one item to start with. So the title. So this is the title of the actual mix or the actual, you know, first your first po episode of the podcast. So for us, though, we're going to say that this is the second episode. First episode wasn't really a real one, but whatever. And the author. So when you go onto the iTunes store, you're, there's an artist column in iTunes. And this is going to be the DJ podcast.com and then we have the link again and you might think this is you know back to your myspace page or whatnot but this is actually going to be a page that holds the link somewhere to your actual mp3 file so in our case is going to be the blog post for the second episode so let's put that in there Okay, now the GUID, this is where you actually put the link to the MP3. So we're just going to put that in there. And then we're going to put in a description. So what is this one podcast episode about? And we're just going to say Serato 1.9 and Ableton. 1.8. You can put whatever description you like, maybe a few of the tracks that are going to be in the mix. Then we have the enclosure URL. And in between these little two quotation marks, we're just going to put well, the link to the MP3 that we put in the GUID. And the length here is not the duration of the podcast, but it's actually the number of bytes. And you can figure uh, that out on a Mac by pressing or by clicking on the file and hitting Apple I, or by looking on Windows in the pr file properties. And for this particular one, it's going to be 10982. That's number of bytes. And the type is going to be audio slash MPEG. This is an MP3. You can leave it as that if it's. Um, uh, you know, maybe a video or something, you're going to want to change that. Then we have our duration, and this is going to be 00, zero that zero 04, so that's 4 seconds. Once again, we have explicit, so you can say, you know, if a particular episode in your podcast is explicit, you can say that it is, and we're going to say this is clean. Then you have keywords. These are words that would describe your podcast, but aren't necessarily the description. So, for example, we can have electronic music and kittens and DJing. And that way if people search for these keywords, our podcast will show up. The subtitle is very much like the description, except that you want it to be only a few words. So uh, we talk about Serato and Ableton. And you really don't want it much longer than that. And obviously I put a short description, but you can have a much longer description, but you, def you don't want a very long subtitle. Category is going to be podcast. Now we're going to do pub date, and this is the date of when the this actual item was published to the net. Okay, and it follows a very particular format that you can look up to see all the nuances online. But I'm going to show you an example for today as I'm recording this. So Friday, May 15, 2009, and let's just say this is 11:30, and it's minus zero. Okay, so that would be the time of which we publish it. And that is your XML file. This is going to be what you submit to iTunes. And as I said, there is one file up that shows exactly what it should look like. That's example that XML that's linked in the blog post for this article on the DJpodcast.com. And there's also this empty file that you can use to go along with me. You don't need to use Dreamweaver or some 
fancy RSS editing program, you can just use TextEdit on the Mac or Notepad on Windows, but you know, it looks nice when I do it this way. So just make sure to fill in all of your relevant information and move on to the next step, which is validating your feed. All right, so after you've got your XML file, your cover art, and your audio files up on your web server, it's time to validate your XML feed. And for that, we go to a website called feedvalidator.org. There's a search box here, and you just input the URL of your XML file and click validate. And if everything goes well and you, there are no errors, you'll see it says congratulations, this is a valid RSS feed. It'll also give you recommendations. Um, for example, you can use an Atom link if you want to have a bit more compatibility with other readers. But for iTunes, it's okay if you don't have that. Now if you do have errors, it'll say, oh, there are this number of errors or warnings, and it will display the errors highlighted in the source below. So go ahead and correct any errors you may have, and if not, ready to go on to the next step, which is submitting the feed to iTunes. And so you've corrected any errors you might have, and if you didn't have any errors, then you're probably already here. And this is the iTunes Store. You can access it by clicking on the iTunes Store option here in the left menu bar. All right, now you're gonna want to sign in to your iTunes account. If you don't have an Apple ID or an iTunes um, account, you're going to have to create one. All right, so now we're logged in, and uh, you'll see your email appear on the right. What we're going to do is click on the podcast button over here on the left side menu. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says learn more. Let's see, learn more. And here there are some links to different articles that Apple has written about podcasts, some tips you should probably look over these to see if you know maybe you're forgetting something or maybe there's an optional tag that you want to put into your feed. But if you're ready to submit your podcast, just click Submit a Podcast. And it kind of takes a second to connect to the iTunes Store. And then you're going to input your feed URL. Then you're going to click Continue and follow all the on the screen instructions and when you're all done you'll wait a few days for iTunes to validate your feed and it'll send you an email with the link to your podcast on the iTunes store.